coursework takes a fun, practical twist as undergraduates at Nanyang Technological University design their own escape room game to apply what they've learned in class and pick up practical skills. It's the first time in the region that students have designed an industry standard real escape game full of puzzles using advanced technology. And there are more additions to come. Gwyneth Teo plays the game. Uh, so you just need to follow the number three, three, four. Solve a series of puzzles to get out of a locked room. That's how escape room games are played. But the 20 puzzles in this room are special as they involve technology in some way, such as lasers, infrared cameras, artificial intelligence, and different sensors. One of the technologies used in this room is a polarizer. Now, if you hold the magnifying glass this way, the video inside shows black and white. But if you turn it this way, it shows in color. And this is an essential clue in order to put the books on the shelf in the right places, unlock the door, and get out of this room. These puzzles were proposed and designed by year two and three undergraduates last year. For instance, this recorder can be played with a laser pointer. We did research online and um, there were many like makeshift Arduino pianos, but uh, we did not manage to see any that used the laser to actually produce musical notes. So we decided to actually use the idea and improvise the idea. Nanyang Technological University hopes the experience will help students view engineering as more than just equations to be memorized from a textbook. This is what NTO want, uh, to equip our students with the, um, the skill set, uh, which after they carry our NTO degree, they work in the industry, they're able to solve the problem for the industry. Instead of uh, looking for solution, looking for instruction, uh, they, are, they should be able to contribute. Alexa, ask experience. The program also allows students to pursue interests and tinker in a safe environment. It broadened my knowledge about the software stuff and I do a lot of research on the internet, interneting stuff and how to interact with Alexa and the programming also with Python, one of the stronger language nowadays. Yeah, I feel very like informative. Future batches of students will develop their own puzzles and the best ones will be used to keep the game challenging. Some 40 students from other faculties have also signed up to be a part of the designing process. The university also hopes to use the room to showcase the latest technology developed by its scientists and researchers.